This is a really highly trafficked rug in our house. So it's really dirty and the suction power is very, very strong right now. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Tyneco Pure One S11 cordless vacuum cleaner. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the retail box and packaging going over some of the key features. So this has a 450 watt motor, long run time up to 40 minutes. We have a multi-floor brush, great for carpets and hard floors and this can conveniently convert to a handheld vac. I also want to point out this feature, smart sensing technology, so it's able to sense how dirty your floor is and optimize the suction and runtime for your vacuum. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up you can see we have our product literature right here. So we have our quick start guide walking us through key features and details to get our vacuum set up and ready to use. On the back side, they have some troubleshooting information for you in their customer service and contact info. Next, we have our instruction manual available in multiple languages covering everything in the quick start guide, but in even more detail. Then you can see all of our parts and components right here. So first up, we have our main brush roller. Check out their logo and braiding. Beautiful color scheme with the white and gray and black accents on it. So you can see this is at an angle, which is great, and we still have swiveling and tilt options. Nice rubber wheels. We can see it from the back side too. Nice main brush roller. Little guide wheels, and we can easily unlock this to remove to clean and detangle as needed. Next you can see we have the main body of our vacuum right here. Nice grayish black tube. You can see their logo and the black accents for the buttons. Then you can see we have our filter cleaning tool. We have our mini power brush. We have additional crevice tools. You can see this is a two in one brush and you can see how we can use that two different ways. Nice crevice tool, cleaning tool. We have two screws, two wall anchors for our charging base and wall mount. You can see our charging contact, our instructions right there. Look at it from the back side. Now you can see we have our power supply right here and charger, followed by the main unit. Let's go ahead, let's look at that in more detail. Here's the main unit up close, check it out. You can see it from the side right here. We have our max level indicator, letting us know when the dustbin is completely full. We also have additional instructions for removing and cleaning the filter. You can see it from the back side. We have an additional filter with instructions to wash and dry every three months easily comes out and removes right there. And then it just snaps right back in place. You can see it from the other side. Here it is front on where all of our connectors will attach. And we have our dustbin release lever right here to empty it out once we have this sticker removed. Now you can see it from the top. So check it out. We have a sticker showing us where different indicator lights will be on this unit. Our Wi-Fi light. We have our clean brush roller indicator clean filter and air channel indicator, and clean dust sensor with their logo and branding. We have our auto max button right there. Now let's go ahead, let me show you right inside here. We can go ahead, we can press this to remove our dust bin completely if we want. And then you can see it just slides and snaps right back in place. And let's look at the unit from the bottom. We have our battery right here. Check this out. We can press this to release. It is a removable battery and you can see our indicator lights right there on both sides and letting us know where the battery releases and the direction it goes. And then when you're ready, you can just snap it right back on. Now let's go ahead, let's get our vacuum assembled. So here's a look at our fully assembled vacuum cleaner. Now let's go ahead, let's set it up with the Tyneco Life app. So now you can see on our mobile device, we have the Tyneco Life app downloaded. This is the screen you're gonna be at once you sign in or create an account. You can see we currently have one of our devices online. That's the Floor One S3. That's a two-in-one wet dry vacuum. In this case, we wanna add a new appliance, so go ahead, select the plus icon. Now we gotta choose our device, cordless vacuum, and you can see we have multiple versions to choose from. So in this case, we're gonna be doing the Pure One S11. 
And now you can see ensure the power level is greater than 20%. Remove the dust bin. So let's go ahead, let's remove the dust bin really quickly. There we go, we just removed it. Then we have step three, position barcode shown. And then step four, press and hold the Wi-Fi reset button for two seconds. So let's go ahead. We have our Wi-Fi reset button right here on the bottom side. We're gonna hold that for two seconds. And now I can see up top, it is illuminated for us, it lit up, and the Wi-Fi indicator is now blinking. Now let's go ahead, let's connect to Wi-Fi. Now at this stage, you can see this only supports 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network, so go ahead, connect to your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network and select next. Now you'll be taken to this screen where it's time to scan our barcode. So let's go ahead, let's do that right here. We'll see, there we go. So it just registered it. We have to give it some permission and now you can see it's working on connecting to the hotspot, which is the vacuum itself. Once that finishes, it'll connect to the Wi-Fi. So now it's joining our network and it's gonna finish setting up. All right, so there we go. You can see our Pier 1 S11 was successfully set up. Now let's go ahead, let's select Start, and you can see we can name our device. So in this case, let's just leave it as it is. And there we go, we are now taken into our device settings. Let's look at this in more detail. So first up in the top right-hand corner, you can see we have a schedule icon. So this is gonna show us the day, the week, or the month and give us our cleaning history. Then you can see we're back on the main screen where quickly we can view our cleaning and performance, our cleaning status, our battery percentage, our filter status, and our dustbin status right there. And then we have our auto setting down here. So you can see the different options that we have as it's cleaning and the power and suction level that it's gonna be using. And then down below you can see we have auto, manual, and max grayed out on the app. Now let's go ahead, let's get our vacuum set up again, and let's test out the LED lights and see how bright they are while we still have this in the studio. All right, so check it out. You can see how bright the LED lights are. They're gonna do a great job illuminating the floor for you. So you can see, obviously, we can see obstacles right out in front of us, but most important, it's gonna allow us to really focus and hone in on any dirt, dust, and debris that's right in front of our vacuum cleaner so we can make sure that we get that perfect clean every time. So now there's nothing left to do but start cleaning. All right, so first up you can see we're cleaning our carpet right here in auto mode, going back and forth. The nice lines that it's leaving for us, you can see those in the carpet. Now we can go ahead, we can press the auto max, and now you can see we're in our max cleaning mode right here. So check out our vacuum room right here. Look at the carpet. Look at how good everything looks. Fantastic lines that it leaves behind. Most of this room was just cleaned in auto mode. So you can see it did a really nice job. And any area that was exceptionally dirty, it adjusts the suction power automatically to give you a deeper clean. So with our angle design at the base of our brush roller, watch as we go under obstacles like this crib right here. You can see we can go much further back than we would with a regular vacuum thanks to the angle of our brush roller. Now you can see we're vacuuming on a hard floor surface right here in the kitchen, and it's doing a great job, moving effortlessly, no issues at all, and it's great for this darker floor to have that built-in light, so we can really see what's out in front of us to make sure that we're vacuuming every nook and cranny and to get all the dirt, dust, and debris on our floor. Now you can see we got some larger obstacles here on the floor, so watch what happens as I vacuum over them. You can see they're not vacuumed up in our cleaner, they're actually just underneath. So for something as large as a Cheerio, it's just going to act as a brush. It can push them out of the way, 
But if we go like this, then you can see we're able to collect them and it has no issues at all sucking them up. So now it's time for our shag rug test. You can see once it gets up here, the roller brush stops. The shag rug is just too thick for it to operate properly. Area rugs and runners like this are no issues at all for the vacuum, so check that out. In the auto setting, this is a really highly trafficked rug in our house. So it's really dirty and the suction power is very, very strong right now. But again, no issues with the transition on or off the rug. It's doing a great job and it senses the different floors and changes the suction power accordingly. So watch what happens on the vacuum right here as we're cleaning the rug. You can see the indicator light's gonna change for us. When we encounter a spot that's really dirty, you can see it's lighting up red. And we know that the suction power has increased too due to how dirty the spot is on the floor. Don't forget about all the additional accessories and attachments we have with this vacuum to get those hard to reach places. So we're using our crevice tool right here to clean the stairs. And now we're coming back through with our mini brush roller right here. Now that we got our first clean out of the way, let's go ahead, let's look at the results. So first up, you can see our main brush roller right here. We do have some hair in there, a couple of threads from that shag rug we tried to vacuum, but you can see most of it's gonna pull right out and we do have that included cleaning tool we can use to cut away any tangles that we get in the brush going forward. And don't forget, you can actually take this out, remove it if you really wanna give it a deep clean or replace the brush. Next up, let's look at our dustbin contents. You can see very full after our first clean, a lot of pet hair and I see some really fine dirt and dust particles. So let's go ahead, let's gently open this up without making a complete mess everywhere. So here we go, look at that. Oh my goodness, you guys can see the real world results right here. So ton of pet hair, a lot of crumbs, a lot of dirt and really fine dust particles. This vacuum is gonna be able to pick up and give you a really nice deep clean all throughout your house, whether you're vacuuming carpet, hard floors, or a combination of both. So now let me share with you my final thoughts after using the Tyneco Pier 1 S11 cordless vacuum cleaner. First up, what do I really like about this vacuum cleaner? Well, there's a lot of great features that we get. First, built-in LED lights. I love built-in LED lights. Whatever cordless vacuum cleaner you get, definitely make sure you have some in the main brush roller. You will really appreciate that feature. Second thing is this vacuum's connected to Wi-Fi, which is really cool. So it's actually a smart cordless vacuum cleaner. And with that being said, we get additional controls on our phone where we can adjust the suction power ourselves and just slide it to the left or to the right, depending on if we want more or less power. So I think that's really, really neat. Lastly, I really like having the real-time indicator letting us know the dirt dust levels. That is super helpful to make sure you're focusing on the right areas and it allows you to really maximize your clean. Now, with that being said, what would I wanna see improved with this product in the future? So the first thing is, I would really like the display to show us the battery percentage. You can see it in the mobile app, but chances are you're not cleaning and vacuuming with one hand and holding your phone in the other hand. I know we have our indicator lights on the battery down here, so that's a good compromise, but I really feel like with this beautiful display, we could have our battery percentage in real time. So that's the biggest feature I would want to see added to this vacuum. Other than that, I'm very pleased with the performance, all the accessories that we get. This is a great choice with a lot of features if you're looking for a smart cordless vacuum cleaner. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? And subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. 
Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.